So today you're going to learn how to add a background to your room. So when we talk about adding a background to our room, there are two different ways. This is my room one. First one is by just adding a background color to it. So how do I go? So in my room properties for room one, I would go to backgrounds and I'm going to click on this color and I'm going to select a color that I like and then press OK. So this is the first way to add a background color on your room. Now the second way is to add a background picture to your room. So now take a look at your resource tree. You will see backgrounds. So I'm going to create a background to add a picture first. So I'm going to go to resources. I'm going to click on create background and I'm going to give it a name. When we give a name to the background, we need to keep our naming conventions that I taught in class. So for the background, I'm going to write as B C K and then I'm going to give the name for my background. So for easier understanding, I'm just going to call it as room one. That means this is my background for room one. Since I need an image for my room background, I'm going to click on load background and I'm going to my desktop and in my desktop I have a folder background images pick one that I like and then press open and press OK if you take a look at my resource tree in my backgrounds you see I have created a background uh, for room 1 and the name is BCK room 1 now second way to add a background as an image now the second way to add a background in your room using an image is just go to backgrounds now and in here where it says no background there is a button uh, you click on it you would see your background that you created BCK room 1 I'm going to select that now if you see my room has a picture as a background and if I'm okay with that I would press the green check so a quick review, the two different ways to add a background. One is using the color that you like, select a color and then press OK. And the second way is use an image as a background. In order to do that, the first thing you want to do is create a background with an image and then add that image to your room.